Recently, Bell Helicopter presented three concepts of the high-speed airborne platform HSV Tall, high-speed vertical takeoff and landing, light, medium, and heavy, with weights from 4,000 to 100,000 pounds. It follows from this that the concepts have different dimensions, which means they have different combat missions. But the technology is the same. That is, it is planned to create a whole line of devices ranging from strike UAV to a military transport vehicle of the Lockheed C-130 Hercules class. Prospective vehicles combine the capabilities of vertical takeoff and landing, hovering speed, large operating range, and survivability of traditional military aircraft. The new Bell helicopter concept is close to the existing modern high-speed VTOL airplanes. The company already has a V-22 Osprey tilt rotor in service. United States Marine Corps and Air Force Recall that the V-22 combines the individual characteristics of an airplane and a helicopter. Two Rolls-Royce T-406 engines housed in pivoting nacelles at the opposite ends of the wing. During takeoff and landing, the main rotors operate according to the helicopter scheme. Therefore, the gondolas stand upright in horizontal flight. The propellers work as pulling and, with some maneuvers, they are able to work as pushing. The gondolas can rotate almost 98 degrees. To reduce dimensions during parking, transportation, or storage, the wing turns and the propellers fold. The difference between the HSV toll concept and the V-22 Osprey primarily concerns the power plant operation algorithm. As conceived by the designers, the propellers are driven by electric motors, which are located in the flaps. They will receive energy from a single gas turbine power plant. And during horizontal flight, the car switches to jet thrust. At such a time, propellers are folded into a bundle for better aerodynamics. Naturally, the speed on the gas turbine unit will be higher than on the propellers of the pulling constructions. Thus, the concept combines a helicopter and a jet plane. Though, the speed of 460 miles per hour is still far from the characteristics of a full-fledged jet fighter. But, for a transport aircraft or UAV, and this option is also provided, such speed characteristics are quite suitable. Note that 460 miles per hour is faster than any helicopter. And if the concept can also actively maneuver at low altitude, then it can perform a wider range of tasks than a helicopter. The survival rate will also be higher. Here the question may arise, isn't it easier to make a helicopter fly faster? Unfortunately, this is not possible because the helicopter layout has reached its speed limit. The maximum speed of modern helicopters is limited by such phenomenon as the stall on the rotor blades. The unofficial speed record during descent and horizontal flight of a helicopter is about 300 miles per hour. The record belongs to the X-3 rotorcraft, the brainchild of Eurocopter. But there, we are talking only about demo models so far. For existing machines, the speed ceiling remains at 210 miles per hour. Let's go back to the Bell helicopter concepts. Of the obvious shortcomings of the development, we note the complex and therefore potentially vulnerable to breakdowns folding propellers design. This is the weak point of the concept. In addition, the transition from jet flight model to vertical takeoff and landing is very difficult. First, the apparatus must slow down and not collapse while the propellers unfold and are brought into working position. 
in the V22 Osprey tilt rotor, this process occurs more naturally. Swivel nacelles with propellers gradually change position and the apparatus switches from horizontal mode to vertical smoothly and imperceptibly. As you might guess, in the new development, these multi-directional processes should occur simultaneously. After all, an aircraft engine is responsible for horizontal flight, while for the helicopter mode, it's electric propellers. What will keep the aircraft in the air while the flight pattern changes? Bell helicopter spokesman Jeff Nissen did not elaborate, unless you count his phrase, critical magic, as a technical term. However, the hopes of Bell helicopter spokesman Jeff Nissen and representatives of the U.S. Air Force are understandable. In case of successful implementation of a new concept, several problems are solved at once. First, the military gets a compact, light type tilt rotor to deal with delicate tasks. For example, an unmanned vehicle can conduct reconnaissance, surveillance, and remote control, escort other aircraft, or carry out an evacuation mission of one or two people from the combat zone. The HSV tilt concept travels twice as fast as a helicopter. Plus, tilt rotor does not need a special runway. A small platform for the compact device is quite enough. In addition, the compact light design can be placed in a transport plane and flown to anywhere in the world. Here, it is appropriate to recall the military exploits of the V-22. On May 3, 2011, on board the V-22 Osprey was the body of Osama bin Laden, who was killed during a secret special operation, was transported from the Bagram Air Base to the aircraft carrier Carl Vinson. Second, the medium-type HSV toll concept model can be used for larger-scale operations, the evacuation of combat groups or groups affected by a natural disaster. Rescue operations are an important part of not just war, but also peaceful life. But the most interesting perspectives open before the HSV toll type heavy. Its cargo transportation and amphibious operations and in general, HSV Toll Type Heavy is useful wherever the Air Force and the Navy uses the legendary Hercules. After all, sooner or later, the time will come when the Lockheed C-130 will require replacement. Finally, replacements are also requested for the V-22 Osprey. As John McLean said, Lord have mercy on John, the V-22 looks great when it's not idle for repairs. That is, the military has a claim to the reliability of the Osprey. Let's recall some incidents featuring Osprey. For example, in 2017, off the coast of Australia, an MV-22B crashed while landing on a landing transport, Green Bay. There were 26 people on board the tilt rotor. Fortunately, 23 of them were saved. In the same year, near El Baida, Yemen, the USMC MV-22 made a hard landing and was destroyed. The incident happened during the evacuation of a U.S. Navy Special Forces group. One man died, four were injured. The biggest incident happened in 2000. Tilt Rotor MV-22, assigned to the 1st U.S. Marine Corps Helicopter Squadron, crashed while landing at the airport Marana in Arizona. The reason is an engine failure at an altitude of 75 meters. Then, 19 people died. The question remains, will the Pentagon dare to fund the concept program HSV Tilt? After all, the previous development of the Bell VS-22 Osprey did not come at a cheap price for taxpayers. Recall that the only commercially available V-22 tilt rotor was developed in the USA over 30 years. At first, great hopes were pinned on the apparatus. Then, in mid-1992, the original order was reduced to 300 machines. As a result, in 2008, the Pentagon signed a contract for the supply of 167 V-22 Osprey converters for a total of $10.4 billion. 
It was estimated that each vehicle would cost about $62 million. But according to some data, the cost has increased and crossed the 100 million mark. To date, over 350 units have been produced, and it seems the Pentagon has no plans to order new V-22 Ospreys. This is probably why Bell Helicopter announced a new HSV toll concept. Some military experts correctly note, in the pictures of HSV toll concepts, what is more important is what is not visible there. The following is not visible there. Firstly, Bell Helicopter has a unique technology. Neither Russia nor China have anything like this. The experience of operating the V-22 shows that the benefits for the Air Force and the U.S. Navy from them is obvious. It will be a shame if the topic of converto planes dies, because we know how quickly technologies are lost. It is enough to change the generation of engineers, and the task of implementing the HSV toll concept will become unsolvable.